Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study converting metric measuring units. And I wrote here the list of prefixes we use in metric measuring units. You should already be somewhat familiar with these. Here's kilo, meaning thousand. For example, kilogram, kilometer. Hecto, meaning hundred. That is not used often, but hectoliters, for example, are used. So one hectoliter would mean 100 liters. Deca is not really used in practical life, but for example, decameter would mean 10 meters. And then here would be the basic unit, whether it was a gram or liter or meter or whatever. Deci means one tenth. So decimeter is one tenth of a meter. And centi means one hundredth. Centimeter would mean one hundredth of a meter. Milli means one thousandth. So for example, one milliliter is one thousandth part of a liter. And to practice just these prefixes, we can convert units that have the prefix here to the basic units. For example, 16 kilometers, we can convert this to the basic unit meters, okay? And this one to liters, this one to meters, meters, grams and grams. Just thinking of the meaning of the prefix. Kilo means thousand, so here is 16, thousand meters and so we write it as that 16,000 meters here's five hectoliters hecto means hundred so here's 500 liters very easy right and then two decameters deca meaning 10 two 10 meters is 20 right 20 meters here seven decimeters deci means one tenth so seven tenths of a meter. You could write it as a fraction, seven tenths of a meter, or as a decimal, same thing, seven tenths of a meter. Nine centigrams. Centi means one hundredth. So we have here nine hundredths of a gram. And either write it as a fraction or usually as a decimal, like this, nine hundredths of a gram. And then 14 milligrams, milli meaning a thousandth. So here we have 14 thousandths of a gram. And as a decimal, it is it is three decimals, 14 thousandths of a gram. Now we do it just the opposite way around. Still practicing these prefixes here. Okay, I take this number, which is eight thousandths, right? Eight thousandths of a gram. And I use a suitable prefix here. Okay, thousandth parts means that I would choose milli, right? Eight thousandths means 8 milli, and then we have the gram. Here is 2 tenths of a meter, so 1 tenth is deci, so here is 2 and deci meters, 2 tenths, 2 deci, okay? 400 liters, okay, there's 4 and 100 liters, so for 100 I use hecto, 4 and hecto liters. 7,000 grams, very obvious, seven and thousand grams. For the thousand, I use kilo. So I get seven kilograms. 0 0.47 meters. You need to read the decimal as a fraction. It is 47 hundredths. So I will get 47, and then for the hundredth part, I get centi. 47, and then centimeters. Or 0 0.281 liters. But read it as a fraction. 281 thousandths. So we get 281, and one thousandth is a milli, so milliliters. Now I want to show you a neat tool that I like for converting metric units. And that is we make a chart like a place value chart, where instead of thousands, hundreds, and so on, we have the kilo, hecto, and so on, the prefixes here instead of the place value units. Now here I have a measurement here. So many centigrams. I will write it here in the table and then use the table to convert it to other units. So, to write this into the table, the ones place here, which is, you know, six is in the ones place in this number, the ones place will go to centigrams over here. Okay? Then all the other digits just around it. Like that. Now I have the whole number written. It is 2126.5 centigrams. Okay? 
Now, when I convert it to milligrams, all I do is move my decimal point. I will take the decimal point off from here and move it here, right after milligrams, and see what number I get. So then I get 21,265. That's how many milligrams. If I want to convert this to grams, I move my decimal point right after grams, right there. So I have 21 grams, 21.265 grams. If I want to change it to kilograms, then I take the decimal point off from here and put it here, right after kilograms. But now in this case, I need to write some zeros like that. So we get 0 0.02265 kilograms. Then I'm going to show you yet one more way to convert metric units, which we are going to use here. And that is based on multiplying and dividing by 10, or powers of 10. You see, in each one of these, when you go from deca to hecta, or from hecta to kilo, etc., the factor is 10. So, if I change from milli something, milligrams to centigrams, or millimeters to centimeters, if I change from here to here, the factor is 10. I multiply or divide by 10. If I change from here to here, the factor is 10 times 10. If I go two steps here, then I either multiply or divide by 100, which is 10 times 10. Or if I go three steps from milli to the basic unit, then I multiply or divide by 1000, and so on. Okay? If I go from here to here, I can check how many steps it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I multiply or divide by 10 to the fifth power. Okay, my first one is meters to decimeters. So over here, meters is the basic unit, decimeters here. So this is either division or multiplication by 10. Then you think, well, which one is it? Will you need a bigger number here or a smaller number here? If you go from meters to decimeters. Decimeters are smaller units than meters, so you need more of them. You need a bigger number here, so you multiply by 10. And of course, that means moving the decimal point one step. So we get 71.8 decimeters. Then I go from decimeters to millimeters. You can see, you see that is now two steps in my chart. So I need to multiply by 100. Millimeters are yet smaller units, so I still need to multiply. Multiply by 100. And so the decimal point moves two steps. Like that. Over here, centimeters to decimeters. That's just one step. So multiply or divide by 10. And centimeters are the smaller units. We're going towards the bigger units. So now I will divide so that I will get fewer of them. This divided by 10 is moving the decimal point from here to here. So 81.9 decimeters. Again, we go from decimeters to meters one step in this chart. So I move my decimal point one more step to get 8.19 meters. From kilometers to meters, the factor is 1000, okay? So I will either multiply or divide by 1000. In this case, I need a bigger number here, so I multiply by 1000. And the decimal point moves three steps. One, and two, and three. So 420 meters. And that one to millimeters, from meters to millimeters, in my chart, from here to here, three steps. So again, by thousand. And we get a very big number. We need a big number here, so multiply by thousand. From decaliters to liters. Deca, a basic unit, is just ten. Liters are smaller units. I need more of them, so I multiply this by 10. 840 liters. From liters to centiliters, we're going towards the smaller units, so I need more of them. I need to multiply. Liters to centiliters is from basic units to here, multiply by 100. So I tag two zeros to it, like that, 84,000 centiliters. From milligrams to kilograms, we don't usually do such a conversion, but I just threw it in just to show you that how to do it. From milli to all the way to kilo, how many steps is it? One, two, three, four, six steps. I need to move my decimal point six steps. 
and this is a big number, lots of these teeny units, I will need a smaller number here. So I need to divide by 10 to the 6th power. I'll just think of moving the decimal point 6 steps. From here, 6 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. So it's going to be 0 0.0234. And then from deciliters to hectoliters, let's check. Deci and hecto. 1, 2, 3 steps. Okay, hectoliters are bigger units, I need few of them, so I want to divide to get a smaller number here. Divide this by 1000, so the decimal point moves 3 steps to the 5.2. And lastly, let's solve just one word problem here. 720 hectoliters of tomato sauce is packaged into 2 deciliter containers. And how many containers will there be? How many containers do you need? There's at least two ways to solve this problem. And I'm going to explain you both. There's deciliters and hectoliters. One obvious way is that we will change this to deciliters. We'll change this into deciliters. And then however many deciliters we have, then we divide by 2. Okay? Because we need to find out how many times the 2 deciliters goes into that number. So, 720 hectoliters equals how many deciliters? Hecto to deci. Three steps. Okay, and deciliters are the smaller units. I need more of them, so I'll multiply and get 720,000 deciliters. Now I need to divide that by 2. Well, that's pretty easy. It's just 72 divided by 2, which is 360. So I will get 360,000 containers. Now the other way. And that is that we will use liters as a um, stepping point or midpoint. We will go from hectoliters to liters first. 720 hectoliters to liters means just multiply by 100. 72,000 liters. And now these two deciliters, two tenths of a liter, five of those will go into a liter. So if I have this many liters, from each liter I will get five containers. So I multiply that times five. 72,000 times five, but I'll just do 72 times five. First of all, I get 360. And so I will get 360 and then 1000 containers. The same result, of course. Alright, and you might find yet a third way to solve this problem. There often are many ways to solve problems that involve converting measuring units.